Amnesty International has called on the federal government to take immediate actions to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in correctional and detention centers. The human rights group said inmates and detainees at police and military facilities across the country were at risk of contracting the coronavirus disease as they are held in overcrowded and unhygienic conditions that can be even more deadly in the hot weather. The Nigeria Correctional Service had informed the media that the necessary measures had been taken to protect inmates, including suspension of visits, restriction of contact between officials and inmates, and non-admission of new inmates. Joining us live is Pastor Popola, who is the National Chairman, Prison and Hospital Ministry, the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Good morning, Mr. Popola. Good morning, my sister. Uh, good How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Great. Fine. We know you are irregular, you know, visiting uh, the prisons because of your ministry. Now, we heard of rumors of a possible outbreak of COVID-19 in our maximum security prison, Kirikiri, uh, over a week ago. What is the background to this story? Um, I, I wouldn't really say it's a COVID case because uh, in the last, about three weeks ago, we had that... Uh, about 400 inmates were coughing, having high fever. And uh, we tried to do a private investigation. We learned that uh, prior to that day, uh, fumigation was taking place in the prison. And uh, three days after, people began to cough. But as at, between then and now, the medical team in the prison we were able to curtail it, and I can tell you categorically that there has been no death and recoveries are seen uh, among the inmates. Mm. Pastor Popola, I myself have been into Kirikiri, uh, the maximum and um, uh, medium prison, so I know how overcrowded that place is. Uh, bring us up to speed. Just let us into what you see when you go there and how hygienic is it to even keep, you know, all of those people in there at this time? Uh, it, it, is a, it is a normal phenomenon to know that uh, prisons all over the country are very, very crowded. And uh, this is, uh, the, all this emanates from uh, the, the, the society. The, the prison or corrective center, uh, they are to receive. They, they, I don't think they have power to reject when police brings in uh, people to be detained. But uh, the, 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 the prisons in Kirikiri, even though are congested, I can tell you that uh, uh, the, the Kirikiri prisons, they tried as much as possible to upscale the hygiene. The environment is neat. Uh, and uh, things are a bit better. Uh, the, the environment are cleaned. Uh, the, 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 uh, the, the vegetations are cut. And the waters are trying as much as possible to make the place conducive. Mm. But I can tell you the congestion is not fair at all. It's, it's, the congestion is not a good look. All right. I mean, as someone who go in there, uh, you know, almost all the time, as we said earlier, because of your ministry, uh, speaking of their health condition at this time, are you confident that, you know, their medical team or the medical facility they have there is good enough to take care of anything? Should there be COVID-19? We are not saying that there is, but should there be any? I'm afraid it... it, it, it you, uh... If advanced countries are having issues containing COVID-19, with the kind of congestions we have in our prisons, it will be it will be another pandemic if it happens there, because uh, the 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 staffs, the facilities, and uh, the ability to make drugs available in that place, mm -hmm. I'm not sure we'll be able to curtail COVID-19 if it enters that place, and that's why uh, that's why stakeholders like us, are making a lot of noise that there's a need to upscale uh, medical facilities, not only in, in outside, but in our prisons. And uh, this is one of the things, this is one of the things we are, we are saying, that the medical uh, facility, I would like to make uh, comments, but I am telling you the, medical, the hospital reference hospital in uh, Maxwell is being refurbished 
by my church, by our ministry, and we still needed a lot. We still needed a lot of uh, a, a lot of interventions to make sure that the facilities are, are, are of scale. But by and large, I am telling you, if there's a, any issue at all for the medical facility, it cannot contain uh, that COVID-19. Mm -hmm. There is a need for help. There is a need for government interventions, especially the state government, to move in and make sure uh, that things are put in order. All right. Uh, Mr. Popola, you know more than anyone else, you know, the reality in that prison in terms of the condition of the inmates there. What more would you want the government, you know, the state government to do in concrete terms to, you know, safeguard these prisoners, you know, and also uh, make sure that they are in good condition, even post-COVID-19? One of the major issues we are having with our prisons, majorly, our policies because for me you can't just keep pick somebody up and put him inside the prison without empowerment without vocation without uh without necessary uh, necessary uh things to 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 rehabilitate the person psychologically and to be able to get the person ready for outside for me I will want a total restructuring of the policy, total restructuring of the officers, because you don't give what you don't have. The officers must be trained and be trained. And also, the facilities for the education must also be well taken care of. The vocations, most of the workshops are obsolete. The, the, the equipment, they are down. And I will appreciate if... Uh, if all the workshops, the tailoring workshops, the 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 uh, cobbler, the all these facilities, to really empower them by capacity, is put in place and functional, and also uh, they should also be prepared for outside life, uh, for a proper integration. I believe that our government should have a halfway home facilities where prisoners are actually prepared for a good life outside. All and right. this will stop recidivism. All because right. when you leave, when somebody is taken up in prison and you kept him for quite some time and you just release him into the open society, I'm no afraid. society to receive them. What do you do? What do they do? They go back to crime. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, that's my just a little take of it. Mm. Uh, all right. Thank you very much, Pastor Kukwala, for all you do. And please stay safe out there. Thank you.